as it is tax-free weekend in Ohio. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Otterley joins us live at the Oakley Kroger. Uh, lots of stuff for us out there to uh, partake in these <laughs> sales. Madeline, how's this all going to work? Yeah, Adrian, and there's a lot of details I want to get into, but first, let's just talk about the numbers here. The average family this year expected to spend hundreds of dollars on school supplies. And everybody knows this year, especially, every dollar counts. So tax-free weekend is really a great chance for you to save some money. Uh, and a lot of stores right now have got their own deals. Here at Kroger, 30% off backpacks and lunch packs. Uh, so when you throw in tax-free weekend in Ohio into the mix, you're just going to save those few extra dollars. Here's exactly what it means. It means that in stores all across the state. Certain items are going to be exempt this weekend from sales tax and use tax. Those items include clothes that cost $75 or less and school supplies and instructional materials that cost 20 bucks or less. Still, there is no limit on how much stuff you can get. One financial professional says these savings could make a difference on how much you can buy. Well, think about it. If you if you're spending over a thousand dollars with four kids, on average, two hundred fifty dollars a child, that can be quite a bit of money. That just gets you that extra item, maybe those extra backpacks or two, or lunch pail because everyone needs the new lunch pail and backpack. So it is a great opportunity, and we don't see that all over the United States. The National Retail Federation expects families will spend an average of more than $860 on back-to-school items per household. That's a lot of money. To make it work, Wilson recommends setting a purposeful spending plan. So know what money you've got coming in, then account for your essentials like gas, food, keeping a roof over your head. Consider cutting down your driving to save on gas, and then also substitute out those name brand products and look for some cheaper alternatives. Now, if you want to take advantage of tax-free weekend here in Ohio, it's officially underway. We know Kroger here will open in just about 30 minutes. It runs all weekend long and ends officially Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. For now, reporting live in Oakley, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News. Madeline, thank you.